You have to have a basis. And whatever that is, if you have even a little bit, you can grow it. When you learn, you, your brain grows. You get dendritic. You get all these connections that begin to move. We know about neuroplasticity. You can change your mind. You can change the way you think. I just got a letter from a lady who, a recent convert to Islam. She was in Mecca with us. And when we went to visit the masjid where the Prophet did his bay'ah, I told the story of Ismail. And Ibrahim, when he came to visit Ismail, he wasn't there. His wife was there. And he asked her, how are things? And she said, they're wretched. We live in a horrible place. There's no food. It's dry. It's terrible. And he said, when your husband gets back from hunting, tell him to change the threshold of his house. And, and he left. When Ismail came back, this is in the Sahih. When Ismail came back, he said, did anything happen? She said, an old man came, Shaykhun Ajuz, an old man. That's how she described him, old man. Came, what did he say? She told him. He said, go back to your family, you're divorced. Then he married a second woman. When Ibrahim came to visit, as Allah planned it, Ismail was out. He had to hunt every day because it was a sustenance living. He asked, how are things? She said, ni'm al -ahwal. What blessings we're in. We have everything we need. It's such a blessed place to be, this, this valley. Nothing was different except her state of mind. That's all that was different. And Ibrahim said, tell your husband to hold on to the threshold of his house. And so when he came back, Ismail said, did anything happen? She said, there came a very dignified sheikh, sheikhun waqur. See, even looking at him, she saw something different from the first one. It's very subtle in the hadith. But this is what she saw. She had an inner light. And she is the great, 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 great grandmother of our Prophet Because that's who Ibrahim needed to be sure that she could carry that blessed seed to fruition. Because that's the child that's going to be raised by that woman. You have to know who's raising your children. What kind of an attitude they're giving them. Are they complaining all the time or are they in a state of gratitude? This is the state of mind. And that comes from understanding. And that's what happened. This woman who wrote me this letter, she said, as you were saying those words, I felt something come up inside me that was so powerful because I realized I was that first woman. And then she said, but that's when the miracle happened because I suddenly became the second woman. And from the rest of the trip, she said, she just saw miracles and blessings. She had been complaining and talking about this and that. And you can, if you look at the outward of the Muslim world, it's a disaster. But really, it's a disaster. But if you recognize what these people have, you will begin to see the beauty of what this religion does to people. You'll see the sacrifices. You'll see the miracles happen. Wallahi. You'll see it. Because it's the way you're perceiving things.